I have in front of me Ubiquiti 150 meg outdoor wireless bridge. Um, it's a complete kit, it has a range of up to 1 kilometers. it's available with free delivery from freetv.ie and the point of this is to bring broadband from a location that has a broadband connection to a location that doesn't um, and to do so in a wireless manner. So it's extremely um, cool kit in terms of we've configured it, we've thought about what exactly you will need and if you buy this kit, plug it in, you can just send broadband signal from point A to point B and uh, the, the thing to know is you'll normally be using this for something like computer networks where you want to extend it out or in the CCTV network industry as well. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the different options that we have. There's two separate options uh, people have to adjust the system here um, but basically um, you have everything you need on the table here. So for the purpose of the demonstration here I'm going to describe what's on uh, my right hand, your left, um, we're going to describe that as the house and we're going to describe this side over here as the shed. So this is a reasonably typical application for it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to say is we have our broadband here. Okay, so you can see you have a router. So the first part of the kit I'm going to grab is I would grab our network cable, run out our LAN connection and we have this now with a cable and now we want to uh, run this into what we have here which is next. I'm just going to disconnect that cable again and show it. We know it's coming off the router, I've demonstrated that. When we come along here, we want to put this in onto the LAN connection here. And the purpose is to run into this injector block here, the, uh, the broadband signal. We come along, we put the power onto it, and what we have at that point is, on the output port here, on the PoE port, what we're going to have is we're going to have the broadband signal and we're also going to have the power here. So it means that we can run both broadband and power up to our aerial here. Okay? So what we grab here is next, what comes as standard with the kit is a 10 meter um, network cable. Now we have an option to upgrade it to a 20 meter which literally will cover most of that, uh, virtually every application. 10 meter will cover most applications so it's just an option we're saying to people um, if they want to go with that cable. Um, so we know it's coming off the PUE port, so I'll just move this out of the way quickly, just put it back a little bit, and we run and we take the far end of the cable that's plugged into the PUE port and we plug it into, um, we can actually see it demonstrated here, there's just a LAN connection here, so we just feed it directly in, and remember that cable is providing both power and also data to it, and we're just going to aim the aerial over in the direction of where the shed is and we're saying we're broadcasting our um, um, network signal over here. So with this we've just given the option, if you don't have a pole on the shed or whatever like that, you can come along and you have an option of getting a bracket like this which is ideal for mounting it and it also comes with two plugs and two screws. Okay, So that's an option of what you can uh, buy with. So that is the house side finished. So now we can imagine, we'll say 100, 200, 500 meters away. We're saying one kilometer. We have successfully tested over such a range. Uh, but obviously, the closer um, the shed is to the house, the better. So on the far side, we're doing everything in reverse. We just come along. We have this lined up with, again, the option of the bracket if we wish it. Um, and we aim it towards uh, the broadcasting aerial. And we come along and we take it off the land port here and we run it all the way down through the network cable. Again, we can get a 10 or 20 meter version of it. 10 is the standard. And when we get to this point here, what we're going to have is we're going to run it into the PoE section here. And the reason we have the PoE section here, of course, is that we need this area to be powered. So of course we need the power from this plug to be running the area up. So the power is going in one direction, the signal coming is going in the opposite direction, and then we have a LAN out port here. And again, we can come along and then we can call on and we can feed this into our camera system or feed it into our um, network system on the far end. So it really is complete. When you buy these units in a bridge off us here, you'll have one unit, it'll be marked up and configured by us and it'll be marked as sort of the house sender unit and the other will be marked as the shed receiver unit. Okay? So we're just keeping it la uh, language simple so people know exactly how they will be using it here. So again, to repeat, we're sending it from a location that has broadband and power to a location that has just power and we need the broadband connect connection over there. So that's it anyway. Uh, an overview of the Ubiquiti 150 meg outdoor wireless bridge kit uh, with um, uh, 
the capacity up to one kilometer and options in terms of having brackets and also uh, 20 meter cables instead of the standard 10 meter.